Interest rates and panicked customers helped sink Silicon Valley Bank last week, and the effects are rippling across the financial industry. SVB collapsed after reporting a nearly $2 billion loss, which spooked depositors who had cash in the bank. When too many rushed to withdraw their funds, the bank became unable to pay everyone and was forced to close its doors. Now, Silicon Valley Bank is reopened, under the control of federal regulators. And the Biden administration says all depositors will have their bank accounts protected by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Your deposits will be there when you need them. Small businesses across the country, the deposit accounts at these banks can breathe easier knowing they'll be able to pay their workers and pay their bills. But the Federal Reserve, FDIC and Treasury Department said in a joint statement, quote, no losses associated with the resolution of Silicon Valley Bank will be borne by the taxpayer. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said in an interview with Fox News that SVB's liberal leadership was to blame. It just appears to me, I mean, this bank, they're so concerned with DEI and politics and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I think that really diverted from them focusing on their core mission. Silicon Valley Bank suffered its collapse in large part because it invested so much money in bonds back when the tech industry was booming and interest rates were low. When the tech industry slowed down last year and started laying off workers, some of the bank's customers started taking money out of the bank to cover their losses. That left SVB in a bad position. They had to sell some of their long-term bonds to have the cash flow for customers to take out their money. But the bonds were worth a lot less now because interest rates had risen significantly. Another bank, New York-based Signature Bank, is also teetering as nervous customers pull out their money. Republicans are accusing Biden of offering a bailout to a bank whose customers are mostly very wealthy, potentially creating a new rallying cry for populists in the party. Sarah Westwood for The Washington Examiner.